Good morning, it's Yvonne here to do the readings for the fire signs and we're going to start with a lovely sign of Leo. Okay Leo, for your reading today we're going to use the Shadowscapes Tarot. Look at that beautiful Wheel of Fortune. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's a pleasure to have you on board. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do and press the bell so you get reminders of when I'm going live or posting videos. I do go live on YouTube every Wednesday at 12 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you find the reading doesn't resonate with you, it is my strong suggestion that you go and check out your natal chart. You can do this by going to Google, uh, Googling natal chart and putting your date of birth in. Then you will find not just your sun sign, you will find what your moon size is, your moon sign is your rising or ascendant and also your Venus. Um, and that will help you get a more rounded picture of who you are. Your Leo sign, or your, if you're looking because this is your sun sign, it's only a small aspect of who you are. You're more than likely some of the other elements within your chart. But if the, if the reading does resonate with you, I ask that you give it a thumbs up and you help me to grow the channel and I'll say thank you to you in advance. All right, let's see what's going on in Leo's world this week. Okay, Queen of Swords coming out. The Queen of Swords is a card, let's say it represents Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and the feminine aspects of those elements. But I feel like really strongly here the Queen of Swords is, is saying to me that you're going to be taking a, a stand in something this week. There's a need for you to stand up for yourself. There's a need for you to step forward in something. But there's definitely this need here for you to be speaking your truth or to be honest with somebody on something. And I feel like this week you have to do this. It's sort of something here has gone too far now and you're being asked to stand up for yourself in a very strong way. All right, so we have the Two of Swords. Wow, okay. So the reason you need to speak up for yourself is because there is a decision you need to make this week that is really very important. So the Two of Swords is a decision that none of us want to make. It's a decision between either cutting someone out, cutting something off, speaking up and speaking a truth at the risk of losing someone or something. But whatever this is here, you're being asked to make some sort of decision this week. You have to stand up for yourself. Okay, because we have the devil energy. Ooh, okay. So somebody may be taking advantage of you here. Um, but I also feel that there's some sort of fear of being honest with someone or having that honest conversation. But I feel... With the devil card here, you can't hold back any longer. The universe is really sort of pushing you to make this decision. It could be about having a conversation with someone. Um, it could be speaking up for yourself for sure. But with the devil energy here, I sort of kind of think feeling like you've got a fear of this or you're scared of it somehow. Two of Pentacles were well, okay with the Five of Swords. You don't like conflict. King of Pentacles, right? You're dealing with a... Capricorn Taurus Virgo here and there's an energy here of not wanting conflict so you're obviously a person who likes to keep things conflict free which is unrealistic and not very human at all because conflict is a part of what we do it's the handling of conflict that makes things different but you've got this energy here of tossing up on this tossing up on this situation for a really long time so something you've been holding back on here so if you're not liking conflict, I feel like the universe is sort of pushing you here to understand that sometimes we have to make choices because we have to do what's best for ourselves. So are you holding a conversation or something inside of you rather than speaking up about it because you don't want to cause rough ripples? Because to me, with that two of pentacles, it looks like you've been chewing on this for some time. And I would say that's probably doing you more damage than speaking up about something. Let's have a look what it is. All right, so we have the eight of cups. So there's something here that you have either walked away from or you're about to walk away from with the eight of cups. So if some sort of situation in your life is not fulfilling you. Something is creating some sort of energy of 
sadness, unhappiness, frustration, anger, whatever it is, but you're being asked here to move away from it or you're choosing to move away from it. Whatever it is requires a conversation, obviously, and a speaking up. Maybe you're putting up with something and not speaking up for yourself. Maybe you're you're dealing with something that you need to, magicians here, you need to change and move in a different direction, but you don't want to do it because you're you're worried about causing or creating conflict or worrying about the repercussions. So I guess here with the Eight of Cups, are you walking away from something because you're scared to say what you want? Or are you walking away from something because you don't want to make somebody else unhappy? Because that just ain't right. <laughs> that just ain't right. If you're putting someone else's needs above your own, there's an issue there. Um, and that's just to, to do with your own self-worth because what you're doing there is you're saying the other person's more important than me so I'm not going to talk to them about it. I don't want to hurt their feelings. So there is a real strong energy here with the magician, the universe saying to you, you actually have everything you need here. So whatever you're withholding or wherever you're standing back from, before you walk away, you need to speak up. You need to say, this is what I want here. And this isn't about getting angry or creating fights or arguments. It's about being assertive and true to what you want or who you are. Knight of Swords, look at that. With the Seven of Wands. Yep, see, stand up for yourself. Speak up here. You need to be able to say something here. I'm not quite sure where this is in your life, but it's really like the universe is saying to you, you can't walk away from this situation before you've put things right or before at least you've spoken your piece. Page of Pentacles, Justice card. Okay. I feel like here, I have the Three of Cups here. I have the Three of Cups, so I'm going to just push that to one side for a moment. The Justice card is here. So it's like you are being asked to put something right here in the universe. It's like, it's like you hold some sort of responsibility here of putting something right for yourself. Because it's creating karma for you that isn't, it isn't the best karma. So by holding back and not speaking your truth, you're creating this energy within yourself here that is giving you... A lot of stress and pain and all it requires is a conversation but when I see the magician I feel like saying to you that whatever this is it's going to be a lot less than what you thought it was going to be so you're fearing something here especially with the devil energy that really isn't as bad as you think but you've made it out to be a lot worse in your own mind the moon card Nine of Cups. All right. Okay. So we have here the Moon card and the Nine of Cups. Now the Nine of Cups is a wish card. So I st I'm starting to feel here like you're not speaking up for something that in the end you could have. Or you're not speaking up for something out of fear of conflict or fear of rejection or fear of something happening here. When in reality is exactly what you want. So what the universe is saying here is it's part of your karma to be able to ask for what you want. So what you're doing here is you're fearing some sort of situation here and speaking up. But actually, this very thing is what you're wishing for. So why are you closing down and walking away when you could create exactly what you wanted? Let's dig a little deeper. All right, so we have here the Queen of Swords. So that's about sort of standing up, speaking up. We have the Two of Swords, which tells me there's a decision that needs to be made, but you're avoiding it here with the Devil card. You're avoiding it because you're fearful of the conflict or you're fearful of rejection or you're fearful of something that will come out of this. But you're presuming that that's going to come out of this when in reality you've got a wish here that will be granted, but you need to speak up for yourself. So it might be, for example, that you have a huge crush on someone and you're not saying it to them because you're scared they're going to say no to you. So you avoid doing it. But how do you know they're going to say no? Because they could say yes, especially with this wish card. And then you've worried and done all this stressing out about not speaking up when you've actually been denying yourself the very thing you wanted. 
So there's definitely some energy with this devil card that you're avoiding some sort of energy here. But I feel like here with this knight, well, so five of swords coming through, that there's a fear of conflict. You're walking away from something, even though you know that you don't want to walk away. And there's something here that says to me that you've been doing this for a very long time here, constantly tossing it up and down, trying to make a decision. I feel like for some of you, it's around a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. But it's like you've been avoiding the very thing you want because you're scared of getting rejected or you're scared of getting abandoned or you're scared or fearful of conflict. When in reality, the very thing you want will come out of that. So it's like you're avoiding your own, your own blessings. You know how we say you're avoiding your blessings. You're sidestepping something, thinking it's going to be bad when in fact it's going to be amazing. So... And especially, especially with this beautiful Nine of Cups here. So I can't believe that you're thinking of walking away from something without at least trying. You know, and I always think Four of Cups there. Yeah, you're worried that this person's not going to take your cup. You're worried that this person is going to push it away, not take it, whatever. So you could be dealing with someone who's in another situation here or perhaps you're in another situation and you're worried about offering this cup in case it's rejected. And I do see this energy of in all the cards here about worrying about walking away with nothing or that somebody doesn't want to take your cup. But you've got the victory card here and the nine of cups. So whatever you're avoiding here, whatever you're pushing away, whatever you're ready to walk away from, the universe is saying here, what you're thinking or fearing, is that true? Or is that just your own judgment or your own fears talking? Whatever this is for you, ask yourself, is this really what's happening here? Or am I believing something that's not real? You've created some sort of illusion for yourself here. And I know that's hard, especially if it's romantic. You know, asking someone if they feel the same way, asking someone out on a date, asking someone, you know, for something in particular because you want it. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is about love. You're holding back on something because you're scared that if you move forward, that you won't get what you're asking for, but actually you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Victory card. You have the Wish card. All here. All here. And because it's unknown with the moon, you're fearing the worst. But this is how your other person feels as well. So it's like you're both standing back from something beautiful here. And this could be both your energies avoiding this, when in reality, there's a gift from the universe here. And you're ready to walk away rather than take a chance. I always say to people, what is the worst possible thing that can happen by offering something? What is the worst possible thing that can happen by asking for something? Ask yourself that every time. What is the worst that can happen? They could say no. You're not going to shrivel up and die in front of them, believe me, if they say no to something. So whatever it is here, you're being asked to step forward, speak up and make that decision for your own benefit. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts and parts life. So there you go. That is what you're doing. You're continuing some sort of pattern here by not realising how this is holding you back. Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. It's time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life. They are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you are ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soul made have, ha have an expiry date. It could be a vow of silence or chastity or power. 
It is time to unwind from them. This is the life in which you free yourself from trauma of past lives. What old ways of being have an expiry date? When you name them, you claim them and they stop holding power over you. When acknowledging these old patterns, it's also important to acknowledge how they have served you up until now. For example, a soul pattern of playing small caused by soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice would have served you by keeping you safe. In order to grow, you now need to soften by receiving and calling in support. It is time to unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer sustainable. So are you making yourself small here? Are you keeping yourself safe by not asking for what you want? Because I feel like the universe is saying it's time to release those old patterns and move forward. Thank you.